welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to bring you guys this video. It is for all my debit card lovers. It's for those people who watch my videos about credit cards and are like, Monique, I'm not doing that. This is for you. So before we get started, you guys already know what's gonna come because every YouTuber does it on the face of YouTube. So please continue showing love and support through subscribing, liking, commenting, and make sure that you are following my new Instagram at Daily Dose of Dot Melanin. So let's jump right in. And the reason that I keep hammering credit cards so much is because they have cash back. Well, at least some of them, the ones I have have cash back. And I think that's so important. If I'm spending money, I want to get the most bang for my buck, the most coin for my own, my the one for the one, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but you get the point that I'm trying to make. So cashback is the name of the game. And I didn't know about any debit cards that had cashback or had interest um, until I, until recently actually. And since I found it, I thought I would share this information with you. So in this video, we're gonna be reviewing three banks. So three checking accounts that have debit cards that have some type of reward or cashback. <laughs> But first, can we get into this wig for a second? Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done now, <laughs> I'm done. Um, but actually though, I wanted to throw a couple disclaimers in here before we get started. So one, I'm not a financial advisor and I've told you guys this before. I'm just a humble girl going on the internet and researching things and sharing what I find with you. Um, I would, Say also, if you do decide that one of these banks you're interested in open, opening an account to make sure that you still keep your big name bank, like your Chase, your Bank of America, your whatever that bank is, just because a lot of these online banks that we're going to talk about today do not have the, what is it called, the physical branches for you to um, deposit cash and you just may need to um, deposit cash to that big bank and then transfer it over. Um, so just keep that open and keep that in mind. The other thing is make sure that whatever you do, even if you see me do something on this channel, on this video that you think is amazing, I appreciate it, thank you. But make sure that before you make any decisions, you do your own research. I'm just gonna be showing you how I do um, research whenever I'm looking into opening a new account or opening a new um, card or anything like that. So I just want to show you how I do that and also review these banks with you. All right, and let's go into the checklist that we're gonna be using for today. Um, I have it written down here, so don't mind me looking down. I'm actually gonna be showing you my screen today so that you can literally see these websites and go through them with me and see my process. Before we look at the screens, let's just check out this checklist that I got going on of the things that I think are super crucial to you choosing a bank um, to bank with. And I talked about this previously in one of my videos about in my finance series um, that I talked about should you change your bank or not, but I'll go over it again since we're going to do it right now. One, making sure that the bank is FDIC insured or insured in some manner. You want to make sure that the money that you're putting into an institution is protected. Next, you want to make sure there are no fees. There is no reason that you should be paying fees. Whether that's low balance fees, interest, whatever the fees is, you should not, fees is Lord, like I didn't go to school. Whatever the fees are, you should not be paying them because there shouldn't be any. And then we're also looking at no ATM fees. So because as I said before, a lot of these banks are not physical branches or they don't have a lot of physical branches, most of the time that if you wanna take out money, you're gonna have to use an ATM. And because of that, a lot of these banks take that extra step and they either don't charge you for ATMs or they um, reimburse you for any ATM charges. So you just wanna make sure that the bank does that for you. Next, you wanna make sure that the bank offers mobile banking. What I mean by that is that one, they have an app so that you can easily access it on your phone. Two, that you can um, mobile deposit checks so you don't have to go to a physical location and deposit a check. You can just take a picture of it on your phone. And three, that you can use bill pay. 
so that you can pay bills from the app on your phone from online without having to go in to like a teller and pay a bill because I, I don't think I've ever done that maybe like once or twice in my entire life. So that is the checklist we're going to go through. Um, and yeah, please do let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments below, but let's jump to the screen over here. So the three banks that we are going to review today are Discover, Radius, and Axos. Hope I'm pronouncing Axos properly, but you'll see the name in a minute. Um, and we're going to go in that order. So let's take a look. So here we're on Discover's page. Um, so it says here, I know that you guys think about Discover for loans or uh, credit cards, but they also have a checking account. And this checking account here, it says that you get um, cash back and no monthly fees. So it says here, you get 1% cash back on up to 3,000 in debit card purchases each month. One thing to note, if you are researching, make sure that these little icons here, these little eyes, these um, some things have stars or superscripts next to them. Make sure that you click on them or you scroll all the way down to the bottom to see what those are about because that is where a lot of that fine print information is found. So let's just take a quick look. So this says that ATM transactions, money orders, um, Apple Pay Cash, paying um, loan payments, and like Venmo, PayPal, so those type of things, um, Cash App, those things will not get that 1% cash back. All right, so going down to, so zero fees, but we'll look more into that as well. So the access to over 60,000 non-fee ATMs. Okay, so 60,000, that's pretty good, but I personally like when it has like, gives me access to all ATMs, even worldwide. So one of my little stars that I like to look for is if it has no transaction fee um, for overseas. But that's like a, a plus. That's not a make or break thing. Okay, so you can freeze your debit card. That's kind of cool. All right, here's the big money. So no hidden fees. I really, really like that. So no monthly fee, no balance or activity requirements. So beautiful. We hit at least three things just now. Um, so we have the no minimum fees, no balance fees, and it shows you all the things here that they have no fees for. So we have another little I here. So let's look at that. So it says limitations apply for um, outbound ACH transfers. Yeah, so no fee outbound ACH transfers to an external bank, and then there have limitations that apply. So I don't know what the limitations are, but an ACH transfer to an external bank is, say for example, you kept your Chase or whatever account and you wanted to transfer money from this Discover checking to that Chase, that's an external bank. So that would be considered that ACH transfer and they're not charging for that, but there are limitations. So if you're thinking about getting this account, you're definitely gonna wanna ask more questions and see, read up some more about what that is about. So no fee online bill pay, perfect. So they have bill pay. So we're just looking now for if they're insured and if they have mobile deposit. And I kind of want to learn a little bit more about these ATMs. So I kind of like this little tool here. This is cute um, where you can put in how much you spend a month and it can show you exactly how much you would make in cash back. So if you spent $500, you would get $5 for that month. And then if you kept doing that consistently, that'd be $60 for the year great all right so looks here they're paired with zell okay so it says no fees nice okay so right here i see oh mobile check deposit perfect perfect so easily deposit a check into your account by snapping a picture so perfect so last but not least um actually i think i, I saw something here that i wanted to go back to where was it? Okay, let's see. Okay, this easy access, I kind of like this. Where um, on the app, the Discover app, you can see where you have those um, no fee ATMs so you can figure that out. Here to the FAQ. Frequently asked questions, so cash back, debit. Okay, so immediately i don't see anything about insurance so i'm just going to type here fdic 
see and see what it says. Okay, is the cashback debit account FDIC insured? Yes, um, funds on deposit are FDIC insured to so the maximum maximum allowed by law, which is about two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So that's that's pretty good. All right, so let's move on to the next bank, Radius. Okay, so now we are on Radius. So we are going through here. It says uh, earn unlimited up to 1.5% cash back. So remember I was talking about those little eyes um, and those superscripts. So this is an example here, this um, one and two. Um, you got interest, ATM fee rebates, plus no monthly or hidden fees with rewards checking. Okay, let's see what they got with our checklist. All right, number one, earn unlimited 1% cash back on online and signature-based credit transactions made with a Radius debit card. So off wrap, what this means is that signature-based means that if you go and try to buy something and you put in your PIN number, you're not getting that cash back for the purchase. Credit means like you're gonna charge it as credit, so like you would sign for it as if you used a credit card. How you usually get to that is once your pin comes up um, for you to put in on like a pin pad or something when you're in the store you would just press like the green button without putting anything in and then it would charge it as credit if i was using a debit card that's what i would be doing because i don't like putting my pin everywhere i feel like sometimes it gets stored in the store and then sometimes that's how fraud and everything like that happens um so okay that's cool one percent back and free atms worldwide Okay, so they will not charge um, a fee, and if they, if you use a ATM out of their network, they'll rebate you. So that's gonna, they're just gonna reimburse you for the fees if you use one out of their network. Awesome, and oh, it's unlimited too. And that's really nice because some banks they will, you know, not charge a fee or they'll reimburse you for the ATM fees, but they have a limit. So whether that's twenty dollars or five transactions, so this is nice that it's unlimited. All right, so we got thus far the no ATM fees, which I really like. Got the reward situation going on. Oh, and it's worldwide too. Hold on, that's foreign transaction. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's my little bonus. Okay, we like to see it. Get your paycheck early. That's just a little extra nugget. Earn interest. So. You, it's not a lot of interest, it's like 0.1, which is actually a little bit more than some of the savings uh, accounts at some of these big name banks. So you get 0.1, not a lot, but something. Um, if you have more than 2,500 um, in your account, we haven't seen yet if they have any fees, but right now the interest just applies if you have that amount in your account. FDIC insurance, 2,500, 200, Monique cannot read. That clearly says $250,000, but yeah, this is why I'm showing y'all the screen so y'all could read it along with me. All right, so we're FDIC insured. We got no ATM fees. Um, we got the rewards. So we're really just checking now for mobile banking and for those fees. Okay, this is kind of cool. You can have up to 1.5% depending on certain categories that you purchase things in for, but, but it looks like this is pretty this is pretty standard it looks like basically other credit cards do this as well oh that's cool they give you extra money if you do charitable if you buy stuff or give to charitable stuff yeah you get what i'm saying next we got the mobile app so nice deposit checks perfect so mobile deposit there pay bills and transfer funds wonderful so that's our bill pay we got that so it's still just our fee, so we're scrolling. Okay. So here, this right here, this section right here, this is the fine print. So this is where like the superscript and some of that other stuff is. Um, so you see here, one, this corresponds with number one. This is really important to read. A lot of times you just wanna be like, nope, I'm done. I'm not reading this anymore but this is really important to read. So I'm looking here for fees. I'm just kind of scanning through. So I'm not seeing any fees yet, but this is super important. 
see minimum to um, open the account is $100. Would not have seen that unless you read this fine print. Do you see how small this is in the font? Okay, so that's just one example of why we need to read uh, the fine print. So I'm still looking for fees, but I don't see anything here. But this is in the reward checking section. So let me just check if they have it anywhere else. So I'm just going to go to checking accounts. And this is literally what I do when I'm researching my own stuff as well. Okay. So we, we covered all of this stuff right now. We're looking for one specific thing. All right. Great. You were recognized. Wonderful. So they have an essential checking, but that's not what we're looking at right now. We want rewards. We need debit cards that give us something. All right. Okay. Let me go down here some more. Okay, I'm looking at the fine print here to see. Okay, perfect. So it says rewards. Let me highlight it so you guys can see what I'm seeing here. Rewards checking is a free checking account with no monthly maintenance fees and no minimum balance requirement after the $100 deposit to open. Um, okay. Wonderful. That is great. So one thing you guys would want to maybe look some more into if they have any other fees. So um, overdraft, insufficient funds, that's something else you would want to take a look at but so far so good i really like that it has the free worldwide uh atms and i really do enjoy that it has no maintenance or no balance requirements for a second they was they had me thinking i wanted to switch but then i remembered like the reason i don't have these is because i don't use my debit card and i would not get the full you know benefits of this because if i'm not using my debit card i'm not getting that cash back no. All right, and we are off to the last bank for this review. Axels. Okay, so checking accounts. Let's scroll here. So they have five different types of checking accounts. So they have an essential that doesn't have anything that has to do with rewarding us, so no. They have the rewards checking and they have the cashback checking. So We'll just review both of them. So in case this is something that you're interested, we can look at the pros and cons of both. We're gonna just go through our checklist and see what they got for us. All right, it says that the cashback checking, let's do it that one because the rewards checking is more popular. But I just wanna check out what's going on here. So initially it says it has 1% cashback on all transactions that require a signature. So similar to the radius, um, no maintenance fees, no annual fees, and unlimited, unlimited domestic ATM fee reimbursements plus unlimited check writing. Oh, hold on, Axos. I kind of like this. I like this. I like this. Okay. So the difference between this one and Radius is that Radius gives you the option for both earning interest and getting cash back, while Axos divides those two things. Either you can get an account with cash back or you can get one with interest. You don't get one with both. So far, the cash back looks pretty good. Let's click on it and see what we got going on. Okay. See, so we got another super script going on here. Let's see what we got going on. We read all of these things. All right, peer-to-peer -peer payments. Okay, debit card management, you can freeze it and activate it, okay. Uh, so they have bill pay. All right. Okay. Um. That's that's it. Okay. Let's let's, let's read the fine print because that was kind of short. Um. Okay. So it says all deposits through. Let me just highlight it so you guys can see what I'm reading. All deposits through Axos Bank brands are FDIC insured through Axos Bank. Okay. So it is FDIC insured. It seems to have no. Uh, minimum fees and it says no ATM fees. It has the bill pay. I haven't seen anything about mobile deposit, but I want to check a little bit more into those fees. Okay. All right. So earn up to 1% back. 
Okay. Earn up to two thousand dollars per month in cash back. Oh, guys, this is why I say you need to read the fine print because this piece of information is so so important and it was not big and bold like everything else. Right here, you must maintain a fifteen hundred dollar average daily collected balance to earn that one percent back on signature based transactions. If your average daily collected balance falls below $1,500, you will earn 0.5% cash back for the month. Wow. Okay. Wow. See? So for this one, even though like this looks pretty good in terms of you getting the 1% cash back for your purchases, you need to have a minimum balance in there to get that. I didn't see anything like that on Radius, but since we know that this is a caveat for this bank, if you're thinking about opening one of the other banks, that might be something if you wanna take note of and look if there is um, a catch like that. So once I once again, guys, I told y'all, reading these fine print is so important. Okay. So I'm still not seeing anything about any about the fees. It just says no monthly maintenance fees. Interesting. Okay. Um, we'll see if they have an FAQ, but until then, let's just check out the rewards checking and see what they are talking about. Let's see if they're gonna talk to us nice. Alright, so right off the bat, up to 1.25%. The wording in these things is so important. So up to 1.25% interest, no maintenance fees, no non-sufficient funds. Notice how the other account didn't specifically say that, but this one is specifically saying that. Hmm. Something to think about. No minimum balance requirements, which we like. Um, plus unlimited domestic ATM fee reimbursements. Okay, so just off the bat, we have the rewards. We have that it's FDIC insured because all deposits are FDIC insured like we just read for the other account. Um, no ATM fees domestically, so if you're out of the country, you have to pay, but that's okay. That's not a deal breaker. And now we're, they said no minimum balance requirement, which we like, um, and no non-sufficient fund fees. So let's, so really all, the only thing we're looking for now is the um, fees more because if one account from the same bank has like um, bill pay and mobile deposit, actually, we didn't see mobile deposit on here. So we're gonna have to check to see if they have this. But if one of them has it, m most more than likely all of those, um, the accounts for that bank have it. So we're just gonna go off the assumption that they have it. However, if you want to use this account, I would say do your research and get that information for sure. All right. So there's no overdraft fees, which we already said. The minimum balance to open this account is $50. We didn't see anything about the other one. And here they break down the rewards. So they have these different tiers. So remember I said up to, so there's a chance that you don't um, get the entire reward amount. So if you are receiving direct deposits that are $1,000 or more, um, you can get 0.4%. And then if you use your debit card a total of 15 times um, with the minimum purchase being $3, you'll get the rest of that 1.25. I just combined these two right here. Um, but what's pretty good about this is that if you're not getting those direct deposits, um, you don't get the full 1.25, but you'll still get 0.4 if you're making those debit card purchases um, per their terms. So the tier is pretty good. So you have the option to get the full 1.2. And if you, you know, different situations, different things, you can still get something. All right. I'm still looking for um, automate your bills. Can I click on this? No. They have bill pay, but I'm not seeing. Okay. Now I want to go to a FAQ. Let me just look down here. 
Okay. All right, all right. Let's see. Okay, so in the fine print, it says here that if you have a balance greater than 150000 you will not earn interest. I'm going to speak it into someone's existence that their account will have greater than $150,000 in there. But at that point, we'll, we'll make a switch with the banks that we use. Okay. All right. So I really want to see, I have a few more questions about this. Most of these questions are about mobile pay and these uh, fees because I don't feel like they're giving me enough information. And I just want to also throw out here, a lot of times when you go to search an account, they're gonna have like their best features immediately on the page. Don't just look at those and be like, okay, great, it has everything that I need. Make sure you're clicking through pages, going through some of the questions that other people have and how they answer them because they're a bank, they're gonna advertise themselves the best that they can. Like it's it's it is what it is, is the game. So make sure that you're doing your research. I'm gonna keep saying that throughout this video. Make sure you do your research. Cause y'all not about to come for me and be like, mommy, you got it. No, I told you to do your research. Okay. I'm trying to find an FAQ page, but I'm not even seeing that. Okay, support, maybe it's in support. Let's try to go to checking real quick. And then, okay, that didn't help me in any capacity. Okay, I'm just gonna try out support to see if that changes anything. Support, how can we help you? Let's try personal. Okay, how can we help you? Online banking, learn more about the FAQs. Thank you. I, let me just tell y'all this that I don't really like about Axos. I don't like that their information is so difficult to find. I think that like the way with the Discover and Radius, like when I wanted information, like the FAQ was right at the bottom or it was really easy to see. This, I had to click about three different things before I could get to the frequently asked questions. That makes me just a little bit skeptical and that they keep saying no specific fees and don't tell me about what the other fees are. So let's see what they got going on here. General questions. Okay, do you charge ATM fees? Um, how do I make a mobile deposit? Let's see what we got here. Download the mobile app, log in. Okay, so, so they do have mobile deposit. So that answered my question, thank you. So now we're just still looking at some of these fees or looking for them. Yeah, like look, I, I look at this. I still can't find out where <laughs> the, the fees are. So it looks like I would have to open the account to figure that out and I don't want to, to do that. So, eh, okay. Um, yeah, Axel, so you're doing a little bit too much for me. If it's something that you're interested in, I mean, they do have some quality benefits, so definitely don't write it off. But, but to be honest with you, I am underwhelmed with them. Overall, these are three pretty good options. They, for the most part, met a lot of our checklist. And I will be posting that checklist right here so that you guys can see it instead of me just reading it to you. Um, but if I had to go in and kind of rate the bank accounts just based on what we did, y'all kind of went through it with me so you saw my reactions and everything. I would say that I like Radius the most. I like them the most. Um, because of the free, unlimited, um, worldwide ATMs. And I think that is so, so important because if you're traveling or if you even if you're just in a different state, like I've noticed myself, if I go from New York to California or wherever, 
there may be a ton of chases in New York, but if you go to California, it's like you can't find any. So I think it's so important to have a card where you can have access to your money if you need it. That is really what kind of like tipped radius over the top. I also like that you have the opportunity to earn interest as well as cash back. I think that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I think radius is my... <laughs> would be my choice, the, Ra the Radius Rewards checking account. If you're interested, the link for this is in the description box. Um, and let me know if you guys like this, this bank. So Discover would be my number two. They're also pretty good. And if you wanna go with a bank that you, you know the name so you feel a little bit better, Discover is also a pretty good option. A radius, I mean Axos, eh, they, for me, it's the sketchiness for me. Like it just, it doesn't seem as transparent as I would want a bank to be, especially since um, it's gonna be online. I'm gonna probably need to correspond with them via, you know, phone or the internet. I would need you to be a little bit more transparent just for me. If you're thinking about doing any of these, just make sure to do your research. All right, guys, so that was my review of these three banks. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you like videos like this where I share my screen and I review things with you. I'm so excited about doing this for my first time. And I hope you enjoyed your daily dose of melanin.